Hi everyone, it's a pleasure to give you again a warm welcome to my channel on YouTube, featuring to you the second part of the presentation about painting. And I start talking to you about painting in Colombia. As someone knows, art of painting was restored in Colombia with Spanish colonization, predominating painting of ecclesiastical character to beginnings of the 20th century omitting almost entirely indigenous and African cultural expressions. There is now a mixture of indigenous artistic expressions with Western influence. To begin, in colonial period, painting was shaped in walls of churches and houses, standing for biblical and Christianity missions and scenes. In the 19th century, art was conceived as support in many scientific studies, especially in botanical expedition, where the Jose Celestino Mutis required of painters and illustrators crafts for proving its stance of flora in Colombia. Also emerging allusive art to independence movements that is de depicting its scenes of wars for Russia win the emancipation from Spain. In 20th century, Painting market a thrift from European and North American influence, arising movements like Fetty Bourgeoisie, Batrismo, Figuratism, and Rapture of Academic Art, which arise under influence of German Expressionism, breaking down with a kit of Mexican muralism and Indigenism, Batrismo's benchmark. In the course of the 21st century, Painting like sculpture is sponsored by National Salon of Colombian Artists. Here I show in this slide some of the most famous masterpieces by Colombian great masters like Candor, painted in 1970 by Alejandro Obregón Rosas. At the same year, Enrique Grau Araujo painted Dream in the Beach. This masterpiece is considered a icon of surrealism in Colombia. In 1980, Carlos Rojas Gonzalez painted his hard work named I Love in Rio, which is rated as a symbol of minimalist art. The artist Constanza Aguirre painted in 1988 her work named Poisson, that in French means fish. One of my favorite artists, Fernando Bolchero Angulo, world's most famous Colombian artist, painted his work Slaughter in Colombia in the year 2000, which reflects violence that had plagued my country for over half a century. Bolchero's masterpiece became worldwide famous with the fatties, and I could say that it's his cover letter. David Mansur Londoño's work was characterized by the use of watercolor and charcoal mixes, as is the case of The Battle, painted in 2006. In 2010, Beatrice Gonzalez painted her work Bot Ceremony. This masterpiece can be equated with Andrew Warhol's pop art work. And now, I show you in this slide Victoria Henry's that, in addition of classifying the artwork by topics, they have been the artistic presentation through history, which also affected technique, dimensions, style, and expression of the artworks. Genres are shown on, in this diagram. History painting, which is created as Grand Hunger and included paintings with religious, mythological, historical, literary, or allegorical topics, and the word practically an interpretation of life and show with an intellectual or moral message. Portraiture, which has, which has an ambiguous and intermediate ubiety, on one hand, representing a person, but otherwise, was to glorify the vanity of that person. 
Journal painting is feature of the habit of private person in everyday and contemporary science of painter, and it used to call custom painting. Landscape, which portrays nature scenes, such as mountains, valleys, trees, rivers, forests, fields, and include cities. Still life is much representative genre of the nature of inanimate objects, such as fruits, to jewels, and can say that this literary of topics. This genre is popularly known as grocery and nude, which is portraying of naked human body, as its name implies, and is read as one of art economic ranking. Also, usually it's associated with eroticism, that can got various interpretations and meanings from mythology to religion, passing through the an scientific study, or well as representation of beauty and aesthetic ideal of perfection. I continue on this slide with techniques of painting, which are divided according to the illusion and how pigments are fixed on the support to paint. In this diagram is technique of oil, wax, watercolor, tempera, acrylic, poster drawing, distemper, ink, fresco painting, point to lesson, grisel, dripping, crayon, and of course, graffiti. Finally, as you can see, materials that are used for painting. The following tools of painting are used beards, such as paper, canvas, cloth, paperboard, metal, wool, crystal and the wall, paint brushes, tones, and of course pigments, either crayons, pastel drawing, oil, watercolor, tempera and wax among others. With this slide I finish entire presentation about painting. Well this was an explanation about painting, and not where this comedy thoughts, feelings, and on what we see around us. I cordially invite you again to get into my blog, follow me on social networks, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your company, and I see you at next opportunity. Goodbye.